Okay, uh, we're going to attempt to make this the best post-racing show ever from Southwick, but the worst weather we've had. We're under an easy up next to the burgers, hot dogs, french fries, ice cold drink stands. I wish it was open. There, there, right, that's what would, I was about to say. I wish it was open. I could go for some french fries. Stop. You Don't wouldn't do it. Alvin. Oh, okay. Uh, we're joined by first and third in the 250 class today, Zach Osborne and Alex Martin, Dylan Ferrandez had to catch a flight, and you're back. You're back I am back. Yeah. I didn't even realize I was gone last week. I didn't either. I did. Actually, I, wrong? I showed up to the race, but I got stuck in B-Lot, so I didn't make it on Saturday. I, better, I thought that happened to you. <laughs> it happened. Um, what do we talk about here? First of all, this guy, you brought it up, 2011, he got one podium, and we were like, oh, good for Alex Martin. He got a podium one time. I screwed it now up and said like 2009, well, but... Yeah. Anyways, 2011, podium here, back on the podium again. Was it seven, seven years later? Two, wait, what was it, 2011? Stop, yeah, six James. years it's later. So. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, killed it. What? Yeah. Hey, yeah. what am I supposed to do here? Don't, don't get mad at me. Just Look, answer the question. The podium, we were like, we were like good for him, privateer guy. He got a podium one time. Good for him, one podium. Now it's like normal. Now it's normal to get podiums. Yeah, imagine I figured something out in six years. Yeah. Well, you know what the crazy yeah. thing is, though? After that podium, you had a good year season that year, and then there was a slump for a while. And it wasn't because of lack of trying or anything. It just things weren't falling in place. And really, what was it that helped you get back to running in the podium pace? Uh, oh, I, I feel like a career revival for me was the Rock River team. Um, in 14 and then even 15, you know, went from a top 10 guy fi- to a top podium guy, really. Um, and then I was able to get my first factory ride with Yamaha, Yam- Yamaha Lube Star Racing. So that was, uh, you know, what I think kind of turned my career around. All right. And this guy, the story's kind of similar. So similar that I just found out today the birth dates even are in alignment between you two. 30 days. Like, when's your birthday? October 28th. Yeah, mine's September 25th. Same year. Yeah. <laughs> so within a month, basically. Yeah. A little older. He's older. Yeah, you're older, more experienced. Yeah. Okay, so your experience quite similar, um, not awesome for a little while, uh, but it seems to have worked. So do you feel, and we've hit this a million times, all those hard times, is that what's contributing to success now? Uh, definitely at some point. Um, I feel like it just gave me uh, you know, a better outlook on things and uh, it's kind of put me where I am today. I, I've been around Troll a lot in the last six or eight years and um, you know, if there's one guy out there that deserves it, you know, as much as I do, it's Troll, and I, I enjoy racing with him and stuff. And what? Troll. I'm stopping. Don't <laughs> cry. Don't cry, yeah. Troll. But, um, Zach and I actually live together for yeah, we did. a little bit a at Club of Mex. Oh, what are those Club of Mex living conditions like? I mean, it's a pa- palatial uh, estate. We had a house. Kyle actually. Er, my house, oh, and Kyle. Troll rented a room for me. Yeah. Oh, yes, when the owner of Club MX, when you're living with him, you're doing it right. Yeah. I didn't own it. We were, we were partners. I no longer own it. But at the time, you were like... You, the you and Alex were domestic partners? Is that what that was? Oh, well... No, no I was just Phil, a roommate. Phil and Alex were domestic partners. I was with Brittany, so... Okay. Was roommate. Yeah, Civil f- union. Just imagine that. Phil, Zach, and I all in one house. But well, I hear that Phil broke up with Alex because he couldn't handle his brother. In the domestic part. I think there's drama going on. There is there. Yeah, drama. drama going on there. Funny story. Still talk. No, I'm talking about Phil broke up with you because he couldn't stand your family, you know, well, your brother. We never, we're still in an ongoing relationship. Just phone call, oh, just which phone is call. actually just fine. Text, text but only. Phil and Jeremy, that's that's dead in the water. Yeah. Okay. What's your story? Uh, one funny story from when Troll lived with us uh, was uh, if you've ever had like a, a tea bag from this company <laughs> I knew called he was Yogi. Say that. They have these little quotes on on the end of the on the end of the string, and it's like, you know, enlightening quotes for the day. So he has all these tea quotes lined up along along the window seal. And Brittany cleaned the house one day, and, and uh, Troll comes in. He's like, "Hey, where are my tea quotes?" And uh, Brittany's like, "Wow, what, what do you mean?" And uh, he's like, "I had all these tea quotes lined up al- along the window sill. And she's like, "Oh, you mean those little pieces of paper I threw them away? I didn't know what they were." And they were special to me. Devastated. <laughs> All your motivation, everything was gone without All your inspiration. It was just in the trash. <laughs> My daily inspiration and teacup. Honestly, you're riding better now, so maybe you need to thank his wife for doing that for you. <laughs> maybe she got yeah, that out of your like head. Six years ago. I don't really think that had any effect uh, in today, but you know. Nice try, Fox you know. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I don't know which side I'm on. You, know, like, you got the nickname Big Al, but I feel like. I might have somehow, me, Greg, and Trey, and I might have somehow 
got you that name. Remember when you came and stayed with us? This was a long time ago. What year would that have been? Would that have been 2009? 2010, I 2010. think. 2010. Came down, was living at Trey Kennard's place. We were all riding, training there. And we just called him Alan all the time. And I remember about two months into your stay, Alex looks up at Greg, my brother, and he's like, you really know my name's not Alan, right? And he goes, well, what are you talking about, Alan? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, good old Greg. Those are, those are fun times. Those were good yeah, times, man. Call oxymoron, Big yeah. Al. So, yeah, he's Alan originally, but it, it changed to Big Al. Alex is short for Alan. I it have is. No idea. It is Alan. Remember, you kind of like, remember Hangtown, the moto when I passed Jeremy, and it yeah. was like, yeah, Big Al, yeah. look at that. Yeah. And I feel like it's stuck since then. So. That's what we do for nicknames here, <laughs> except for the one that you used to have, which uh, we will not. I watched that moto the other day, literally on like Thursday. Ping was brutal. Like it wasn't. Oh, your just, moto. Yeah. Your fade moto. It, yeah. It wasn't just the snack pack. Like the whole moto was just like <laughs> brutal. I'm like, dang, dude. All right, but I'm going to ask you a question about those days that I've been looking to ask for. Would that have been 10 years now? 11? Okay. 10-year-old question. This could be in. Yeah, I've been waiting. Well, now I feel like you're cool enough to roll with this. So one time I see him after the race that year when he's struggling, and he's telling me how he's got health problems, and he's hypoglycemic, and he's working with Jeff Spencer, and he's trying to figure out what's wrong with him. And you're sucking on a lollipop as you're doing this. And I'm thinking... <laughs> Maybe the problem's literally right under your nose. You are having lollipops after the races. But then some people said maybe that's to help. Was that like a sugar thing? Or was it literally like, I don't know why I'm not in good shape. That was maybe just lack of education at that point in time. Bingo. <laughs> so it was as bad as I thought it was. Yeah, pretty much. He's like, I don't know why I'm not in good shape. Let me continue to suck out my lollipop. Probably followed that with an ice cream though, so. He was also smoking <laughs> cigarettes to increase lung capacity as well. So yeah, really low education. It was a really great training program he had going on there. Uh, one other thing I want to ask about is this crazy theory you're telling me that during motos, you have the ability to ride and think about random topics that do not always have something to do with racing. I'm impressed with your concentration or lack of concentration. It happens. It happened today. I was telling you a funny story, but we won't really... We won't get into that one. Give me a different example. <laughs> I mean, there's tons of them. You do math? Sometimes I do math, yeah. I have, I have done math before. It's not really my thing lately, but... Well, the problem is, especially when it's a hot and humid moto, your math gets really bad at the end of a moto. Like, your, your IQ goes down at least 30 points. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> you can't even read numbers, much, much less calculate them in your head, yeah, right? Like if we were to do, a, like, IQ test after, we would fail miserably. Like, we're pretty dumb, I feel like, when we come off yeah. from heat exhaustion. Just poured water on me. I don't know my name. That's a nice excuse. At least you have that always going for you. It's just the heat. It's just the heat. Otherwise, I'm normally smart. Come on. Uh, you're good. I mean, real math? Like, real math? Like, math you're decent at. Like, so much so that I signed up. Before I learned that I was going to Alden's, I signed up for college to take prereqs for, to be an engineer. Like, recently? In August of last year. But He's making I, that up, I, isn't he? I can't. Well, I actually I, uh, told me that. Dropped out of the classes really because I didn't. Yeah, wasn't sure that I was going to have time with being without. Busy winning championships, but I've heard that you, as a matter of fact, many oh, trainers in the pits have told me that Alex is about as knowledgeable as any trainer, even though he's merely a rider. I would give him that all day. Yeah, yeah I, I do like to read a lot, and I've read quite a bit on nutrition and training and things like that. It's kind of a passion of mine, I guess. Uh, but, and I just kind of like to know, like what's going on, what's going on in my body, how I should train. And sometimes it's not the greatest, but I think in, in the end, like, knowledge is power, and it kind of educates you and gives you a chance to, to maybe not, you know, say you're, you're riding around 15th or whatever, like, at least you can maybe pinpoint what your issues are. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Like, it might have been that lollipop that caused the 15th <laughs> yes. place, right? Yeah, like the sugar spike from the insulin is maybe not the greatest for my health. <laughs> <laughs> well said. All right, so it's not hot and humid today, so I guess that's why we're getting the true well, intelligence. Warm. Yeah, but now you're good, see? The yeah, intelligence we're getting now. I'm getting, I'm getting hungry, though, so you better hurry this up. Snack pack. Hungry for another win. Do we need to wrap anything else up from the races? Tomac won the 450s? <sighs> not hey. really. I mean, yeah. everybody knows that. They're okay. going to go on there and watch it, but I think the big thing is I'll be at Millville. I'll come in a day early to outfish you and yeah. fish all the trout out of the creek. I might even give him a little bit of trout. Maybe get him a little bit of a uh, protein. Try to take. Is on that Zach acceptable Osborne in all your reading? This trout's good, right? Oh, uh, brown trout from Millville. It's the best. Oh, okay. It's the best. Highly recommend. It's good. It. I've had all a right. lot of fish out of there over the years with a fishing license, Long of course. Wild caught. 
not frozen and, and pr uh, processed. You don't understand. The fishing contest goes down every year. Yeah. Millville, Minnesota, that creek right there. That's wild. Big wild. old trout. I'll cook you up a, I'll cook you up a trout on Friday night. That's why you're thinking 2009, because you came to Millville, stayed in the tent with Phil, went fishing, yeah, we went to Meadow Valley, dislocated your shoulder, yep. factory Honda, just yep. threw that one away. But <laughs> wow. It's called too much trout. Blammy. When you got too much trout, you get a little fishy on the track. You have the perfect amount of trout, but hey, year, yeah, it was a fun year. But hey, what? We got a week off, Millville coming up, be your hometown race. That's Troll's house. Thank Literally you guys for, race, yes. You said, come to my house. <laughs> On the podium, I was like, uh-oh, we got Millville next. He was like, come to my house. You said that. It's mandatory. No, I didn't, actually. <laughs> yeah, was, you was, did. <laughs> oh, this is good. Uh, Trash okay. talk in the 250 class. Uh, yeah, Just like the 450. Brutal. You can tell these guys these are at each other's throat. Brutal. Geez, brutal. Yeah. The next Tomac and Baggett. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, 450s, Tomac won. Baggett salvaged some points. Good job there. Dean Wilson podium. Yeah, Dean Wilson podium. Cooper Webb stalled late and lost it. 250 class. You are you can pretend you're friendless right now. Here's your top three. And uh, up, see you at uh, well, Spring Creek. And yeah, yeah. About like the differences of you know that that topic, and then I was like, a bipartisan <laughs> government is never gonna work. Wait, I, I missed the beginning bit of this whole conversation. This is during the moto. He's Better thinking about this. No, I know, but I know during the moto. But why? What? Because the weeds. Because oh yeah. Because Baggett said he's Fox News fake and Mathis is CNN fake.